second. <laughs> Hope it's not too dark in here. What am I doing today? I hear you cry. I'm gonna take some measurements of the inside of this cabin and I'm gonna try and start getting some sort of renovation plan in order. But we'll see you. Down here, pretty equal, which is, makes things a little easier. That's just a few bits that I need to change, really. Like trying to get hold of new windows is going to be an issue. Difficult. A whole new frames, whole new windows. Do I keep them? Do I blank them off? We'll have to see. Keep this old chimney, get it cleared out, I'll get a new pipe lining put inside so I can re-put a wood stove in here for cooking on. I don't know, maybe. I do also need to sort out the floors, they're all over the shop um, and different colours, different levels. And I think really a lot of them could do with being insulated. So that's a big task in itself. So I'll have to have a think about that. Pull the ceilings out or just clad over the top. Who knows? This whole back section here, with this window incorporated, I'm thinking of put, putting in a big bathroom. And the reason for that is to have a window for light. But also there's a hole in the log cabin already here. So I could vent out a hot water system, which would be interesting. But it does mean I'll have to sort out these parts here where there was a massive leak and the ceiling came in um, again pull it all out but I do think in this first segment we could um, put a kitchen big kitchen area in this part maybe a big dining table in this part and the bathroom there so that would be this first section of the house and on this parallel side of the house have a big living room it would be good to reinstate this 
the original Kop Lugan fireplace, which is essentially a traditional um, Swedish type fireplace where the thick tile holds heat for many, many hours. It's not in the best nick, it's got big cracks and stuff in it, but they're expensive and it'd be good to, it's always good to reuse in it. So we'll have a little think about that too. dark in here so this is the front sort of vestibule bit of the house um, which I'm gonna have to take this floor up because I can feel it's bowing which means one of the joists down in there is probably gone rotten so I'll have to take this full bit of floor out see what's going on replace some bits but that only means I can properly put in new joists and a bit of new insulation Make it a bit warmer, as you can see from this side. Um, it's not great. And I did cardboard these sides. I don't know if you can see it on the camera. Let's have a little burp. Yeah, you can see it. So I had to cardboard all this in when I first got here and was living in this cabin because the wind just blows straight through from the door. But don't worry, that's something else. Let's have a little look upstairs. So when you come out of that room that we were just in and you're into the vestibule area, there's these stairs that lead upstairs. And now we're upstairs. As you can see, it needs a lot of work. I need to remove this old dodgy pipe that was put in for a stove downstairs um, which also makes because they put the hole in badly with no um, protection around the outside so it just leaks water down the edge of it and that's why it's uh, frozen same with the chimney stack up the top there it needs all repointed and uh, some sort of protection from the outside. Probably have to do a bit of roofing out there as well to stop the water ingressing in. But if I just clear all this up, clear all these floors out, put new boards in and everything, really need to find new windows. The vapor barrier, the roof and the walls, insulate, reclad, and this whole upstairs area can be one big bedroom. I think. What do you think? Um, because at the moment you can see where all these holes are from uh, taking out the clad from the outside. These, this is just one one piece of wood, and then that's outside. So. It needs remedied, it needs to be good foot thick walls. So it's a big task just doing this upstairs area, to be honest. All in all, it's a lot of work, isn't it? But I need to get cracking with it. I need to start getting plans together. So that's what we're doing. Right, now I've got all the measurements of downstairs. See what it's going to cost just to uh, um, excuse the uh, rubbish drawing, but it's just so I have an idea and sizes and um, metre squared of each room. I'm basically going to put in floors which I can insulate, so a subfloor in each room, a little false floor. Um, so I'll need the cladding, the insulation and the bits to do that and the ceilings as well, which will just be getting reclad. So basically double each room. See what it comes to, I'll let you know. And also see if it's going to be worth me even trying to mill my own wood, but I think that's just going to be idiotic. Too much work, too much time. Um, see what prices are like at the moment. Probably hideous.
well about thirty thousand krona just for the um the clad of the floor and the ceiling for the hall downstairs there's quite a bit that's not including insulating and building the floor up to fit the insulation so i'll have to rethink that one that's for sure well gonna be snowing for about two months then perfect one thing i can do that costs almost nothing i can vapor barrier all this inside of the roof at least i'm sure i can push to that i do have a bit of vapor barrier um i just need to get a heavy duty stapler and i'll staple it all in all the roof which will help very minimally but it will stop a few of the leaks um because above that it's just like really old school um you know like cedar so that'll be that I can do that, but that's going to take a while as well just to um, get the stapler and that'll be about a week, but we'll get something done eventually. Millions of these little mini wasp nests. Stapler, tape, vapour barrier. Now it's going to be faster me getting it the next time I go to town rather than ordering it online so in the meantime better crack on with something else aren't i oh yeah And my other job that I'm thinking is measure up to see if I can put this bathroom in here after remove that green screen, which I haven't utilized yet, but it's coming. See if I can make it a bit lighter in here as well. It's a bit dark. Made any difference? The reason why I want to check out if this bathroom would work is because I'm kind of sick of showering outside uh, uh, when it's freezing. So I just want to check out if it's going to work or not. Probably won't even get around to doing it, knowing me and this channel. So, right, I'll move this stuff, but I'll speed it up because boring to watch, innit? Nice little boxes. Mm -hmm. an upcoming project. Now I can sort of see how the space is. I'll mark it out, see if anything's going to work. A 
just realised that you probably can't see anything, so all this is pointless. But what I want to do is try and leave some of the exposed walls just for a bit of character. Um, sort of shower either it'll be a cubicle, so it'll come, you know, over here, so I can vent the hot water on demand unit out of the wall. Or I could possibly do this whole back section area here as a sort of wet room rendition. And then I'll put a toilet over this side and the door will be parallel to the window here. So it's just building one wall and then all the bits that go in and then reflooring the inside of this and reflooring, uh, repadding this ceiling where it's horrible up there will not cost as much as cladding the whole bottom floor of the house and then at least I'd have a functional indoor bathroom which would be a delight. Thank you! I'm going to see if I've got some masking tape so I can actually see what's going on because this black marker is dead. Yeah! Right, guarantee I'll run out of light and I've only got one head torch now because my other head, good head torch broke so see how we get on. Hopefully all this footage is not like pitch black. Well, we'll see. this up for ya. So there you go, a bit easier to um, visualise. So that's where the door will be, to the window, wall, wall, shower tray, possibly, or maybe this whole back corner sort of wet room style and i'll tile it all and then this sort of area for toilet and then in front of the window it can have some sort of cupboard or but i need to repair all that under the window anyway so but there you go you can visualize it a bit better and i'll stop garbling and i'm gonna price up what it'd be just to frame all this in before any of the cosmetic stuff So that came to a grand total of three grand as well, just about. That's not including tiles, but because I'm still umming and ahhing if it's going to be wet room or just cubicle. But if I can find a good cubicle, that'll narrow down the amount of tiles that I need. But I also need to get hold of wet room board either way. So that should be fun because Big Max is out of it. Not that you care, but I'm telling you anyway. Right, I'm going to do some other jobs that you've seen a million times, so I won't bore you with it. Quite a boring vlog this one, I'm afraid. I am very sorry. But um, Happy New Year, because this will go out New Year's Day, which is tomorrow. And uh, all the best. I'll see you in the next quick vlog. Hopefully it'll be more interesting, though. Hopefully I've figured out how to get enough cash together to do at least the bathroom, which would be amazing. But we'll see. Catch you soon, look after each other, be awesome, boy. Oh, I'm sorry this vlog's ending abruptly, but I just need to figure out how I'm gonna work everything out. So, catch you in the next one, bye.
Oh, tricky Bellman. Oh!